Peace and blessings, fam. Just wanted to come really quickly and, and just talk about fear and how fear can stifle your progress, how, how fear can restrict you from doing the thing that you really want and desire to do. When I was younger, I wrote a paper. They had us to write a paper. And they gave us 15 minutes to write this paper. And the paper was about why is role models necessary? Why are role models necessary? So they gave us 15 minutes to write this paper. Now, everybody in the class, they turned their paper in. And once the uh, my English teacher actually picked up my paper and she read it, she came over very excited and she said, you know, can we enter this into a competition? The paper went from her to the head of the English department, from there to the head of the radio TV department, from there to the principal, and so after that, they entered the paper into the contest. Well, I got an invitation uh, a little bit later to actually come and read my paper. You know, to come and read my paper, to come and read my paper to the people. And so what ended up happening was I called, I, I let my mother know that they, they, they're calling on me to actually come and read my paper, right? And I want you to go with me. And my mother wasn't able to go. And so I made a decision because of fear, right? Because of fear, I made a decision that I was not, I was not going to go and read my paper at the banquet that they invited me to. And so later on, a couple of months later, I got invited to a banquet again because my paper actually took second place in the state of Illinois. So all of those who wrote papers in the state of Illinois, uh, my paper took second place. So when to the banquet, it was a young uh, sister who won first place. And she read her paper and she won a $5,000 scholarship for college. Both of us were seniors at the time. And so in that, she got the $5,000 scholarship. Second place didn't get anything, okay? Uh, we got the dinner or whatever, but that was the extent of what it was. But my point in all of this is that because I allow fear to stop me and I allow for someone else not going with me to make it where I wasn't going to go do what they asked me to do, I missed my opportunity on that scholarship. I missed my opportunity to whatever else they had going on. I don't know if they were going to publish it in the magazine. I don't remember these things. But my point is that when you allow fear, when you allow fear to restrict, when you allow fear to restrict you, it can stifle your progress. It can stop your movement where you won't be able to move forward because of something that one acronym for fear is false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. And the false evidence that was presented was that I wasn't good enough to read my own paper in front of people. The false evidence that was appearing real was my paper wasn't as good as they said that it was. And I wasn't gonna go up there and quote unquote, embarrass myself 
and, and allow them to judge me. And then with that, I missed the opportunity. How many opportunities have you and I and we missed because we would not, because we would not move forward? How many times you had a great idea, great things you were going to do, and you convinced yourself in your own mind that you were not good enough to do whatever it is that you were trying to do? Fear can stand in your way and my way to progress. And most of the time, it is false evidence appearing real. What makes you think that you don't have the ability to carry out what it is that you say? What makes you think that you're not good enough? What makes you think that your idea is not great enough? What makes you think that what you're bringing to the table is not a value like someone else. What makes us think that is self-doubt. And because how we've grown up and the world have told us that black was inferior, the world have told us that we didn't contribute to society. They've told us these things. You getting more now in the midst of the truth that's coming out of the reality of things. But over the course of these 400 plus years, this is what was told. You was inferior because of your hair. You was inferior because of the shape of your nose. You was inferior because of the color of your skin. You was inferior. You were cursed. All of that Africa was just a place where a bunch of jungle bunnies was at that didn't contribute anything to society. And oh my God, if we hadn't come to get you and civilize you with Christianity, where would you be? These are things we've been told. These are the lies that have been presented to us. We've been told that we were cursed of ham. That's how we got our dark skin. In Greek philosophy, the sun rolled, the one of the God's sons rolled too close to the sun, and this how he became black. So in every instance, for the most part, you became black because you were cursed. Well, I'm here to tell you that you're not black because you're cursed. You're black because you're first. Black is not really even a color. Black is the essence from which all color comes. This is why we can make from light bright almost white to triple dark as night. So, if you're dealing with that self-doubt, that self-hatred, you don't think you're good enough. Study. You're the original people. You are the first to set your feet on this earth. You are the first to populate every area on this planet. You are great beyond belief. Now this goes to anybody. Fear. You have to challenge fear. You have to challenge your self-doubt. You have to challenge that you don't believe in you. Ask yourself why. Who told you you weren't good enough? Who told you you didn't have enough? Who told you you weren't great enough? And the question then becomes, why do you believe? Why do we believe? So let us break the chains of fear. Let us break the chains of doubt. Well, how do you do that? Knowledge. Prayer. When doubt comes up, challenge it. I am good enough. I do have enough. 
I am enough. When you, even in that, when you still feel like that, pray to God to strengthen you. Seek out counsel, good counsel, that will help you to overcome your doubt in self, your fear in self. Some of us are sitting right now with ideas in our minds that can change the world. But many of us will not act on it because of fear. Don't let fear overcome you. Overcome your fears and rise.